Hello and welcome to that series of short pieces of content on AWS Graviton processors. So today I'm going to do two things. I will uh, talk a little bit about the history of Graviton processors and why AWS designed custom silicon. And I'll make you a quick demo showing you how to launch a Graviton-based instance in the console. I'm Arthur Petit-Pierre, a principal essay looking after uh, Graviton-based instances at AWS, and I'm usually helping customers to adopt them, put them in production, improve performance, those kind of things. So um, I'm talking about Graviton processors, but something that you probably ignore is that AWS has been designing hardware since a really, really long time. Have you ever heard about Lab 126? Probably not. That's actually the part of AWS and Amazon that is behind the design of many hardware products, including our Kindle devices, our Fire tablets, um, all the kind of devices um, that we sell directly to customers. Things like Alexa devices, for example, have probably been designed at Lab 126, at least partly. It, and it was started in 2004. So that's a pretty long time now. And another thing that you're probably not aware of is uh, the Annapurna Labs um, company. AWS acquired uh, that company in 2015, and now Annapurna Labs is part of Amazon. And that company is actually behind most of the um, specific hardware that you find on EC2 instances. Um, another uh, occasion during which uh, we revealed that we are designing custom hardware is a reInvent session at in 2016 at reInvent um, with James Hamilton, where we disclosed that AWS is using a custom hardware stack for its networking. Um, with custom routers and custom network adapters uh, to improve the performance on the network, make the latency lower, and make the bandwidth um, higher. If you have never seen that session, um, have a look on, on YouTube. Um, I think that was uh, Tuesday night with James Hamilton. Lots of amazing details. I really recommend that one. Another pretty interesting session um, was the one during which we announced the Nitro virtualization platform. So you might be aware that in the past, we were using a software virtualization platform called Zen. But in 2017, with the C5 instances, we introduced a new version of our virtualization platform called Nitro. The interesting thing with Nitro is that we offloaded a lot of the virtualization feature, like the software device uh, model, to specific hardware component, the Nitro cards that are connected to the PCI Express bus of our systems and emulating um, pieces of hardware on, on that bus. So things like um, ENA network devices, they are actually emulated on um, specific hardware dedicated to that um, on those Nitro cards. EBS volumes, they do appear as NVMe disks on your instances. But those NVMe disks are actually presented from those cards, emulated by those cards. If you want to know more about the Nitro virtualization, uh, you can watch that session from Anthony Ligori. Uh, that's available on YouTube, and the URL is available at the bottom of the screen. Another feature that we've been able to implement thanks to dedicated hardware is um, the full uh, line speed encryption um, that we can now do between some of our EC2 instances. We disclosed that at Reinforce in 2019, and the reason we've been able to do that is because we are using those dedicated hardware as part of our um, virtualization stack. Once you have dedicated cards uh, to take care of the network, adding a specific component that could do the encryption 
without any influence either on the performance or without being visible uh, from um, your virtual machine is something we can do uh, with those dedicated virtualization hardware. And again, uh, those pieces of hardware are custom designed from AWS. Once we have done the, the network stack and the virtualization stack, one of the things that AWS was, was looking to do was to improve the way we could uh, make processors available to our customers. So we took the long-term decision to design our own Graviton processors based on the ARM64 architecture and released the first version of it, the, uh, the one that was powering the A1 uh, instances in 2018. It was mainly importing the ICOL, allowing open source project and, and software vendors to get their product ready uh, for the next version of the Graviton processor. The Graviton 2 processor was that next version released in 2019 and was the first one that was really targeting large scale production workload. And we got some uh, really amazing customers who were really fast to adopt it. Customers like Snap, for example, running a large chunk of their production on Graviton 2 shortly after it was released. Some of our early adopters like Honeycomb uh, porting uh, all their infrastructure to Graviton processors. And in 2021, we announced the third version of the Graviton processor. I still remember the days where customers were asking us whether we were serious about the ARM64 architecture when we released A1. Yes, we were. Building processors is a long-term commitment. And that's the reason why, why you can see now uh, the, first, the third generation of Graviton processor. Graviton 3 is the latest and the greatest addition to the Graviton processor's range. Uh, it's 25% faster than Graviton 2 for most of the general purpose workloads. For some workloads, it's even faster than that. We've seen up to three times better performance for machine learning um, based workload. And that processor, the Graviton 3, is up to 60% more power efficient compared to equivalent x86 processors. Okay, we've talked a lot. What about looking at what it looks like in the AWS console and launch a Graviton-based instance? So let's move to the AWS console. Uh, so I'm here on my console and let's go to EC2. On EC2, I will choose to launch an instance. And here I'm on the window where I can launch a Graviton-based instance. So I'm going to give a name to uh, that instance. Let's call it, uh, for example, Graviton Demo. And here we will have the ability to pick up an, a, an operating system and um, choose an AMI. So we can use Amazon Linux. And here we can see that we have the option to either launch it for x86 or for ARM64, which would be the thing that we would do if we were um, to launch a Graviton-based instance. We can choose uh, Ubuntu and same thing. We have those two options. We can't choose Microsoft Windows. That one is only available for ARM64, but we could choose uh, RHEL. Um, where we have the ability to choose either x86 or, or ARM. Let's, for that one, choose Amazon Linux and the ARM64 version. Once we select the ARM64 version in the instance type list, uh, we will get only instances powered by Graviton processor. C6G here is a family of instances that are powered by Graviton 2. We will choose something smaller than that. We will choose a T4G, uh, which is our family of um, Graviton-based instances uh, with burstable capa capability. So we have chosen the operating system version. That's the ARM64 version. And we have um, a T4G micro, our burstable Graviton instance here. 
Now we will choose a key pair for that one. So I will choose my default one. It's already pre-configured. Um, we will um, create a security group that will allow us to connect by SSH. Here I'm leaving it to uh, connect from anywhere. Uh, that's part of a demo and that sh will be a short-lived instance. Um, if you're doing that in production, obviously put more restriction here, such as um, only connect from your Bastion host or from your specific network. And I will leave the rest of the configuration as default. And I will launch that. So the security group has been created. Um, the instance is being launched. And I can go to the page of that specific instance. So. It's really quick to boot. Um, so the instance is already running now. And I can uh, select and copy its public IP address. While it's initializing, I will still be able to connect to it. So let's SSH to that instance. Uh, the default username for uh, Amazon Linux is EC2 user. And I'm pasting um, the public IP address for that instance. So let's connect. Yes, I want to connect to that one. Let's unlock my security key. And here I am connected on um, that Graviton instance. We can check the processor architecture with uname minus M that will show us the machine architecture. And we can check here that it's actually a Arch64, which means that we are running on an ARM64 processor. We can list the CPUs on, uh, on that uh, instance. And we can see that we have uh, two vCPUs available that are using the ARM64 architecture in little engine mode. And that's a Neoverse N1, which is the architecture of uh, the Graviton 2. We have the different levels of cache um, and the flags that are supported by the processor. Um, to show you that there's um, limited differences when uh, you're using the package management for your fav favorite distribution. Let's install a package. Um, so I'm going to install uh, Tmux, which is a um, terminal multiplexer, pretty convenient when you're doing things remotely. Um, so let's install that. It just works the same as it would uh, with your um, favorite x86 uh, Linux distribution, except that here, when installing a package, it's going to pick up the one from the, R, um, the ARM64 architecture. So I can launch now Tmux, and yep, I'm, I'm in my terminal emulator. OK, so let's go back to um, our instance. We can terminate the instance. Yes, I will. And we are done with the demo. So if you want to know more about Graviton-based instances, find some tips and tricks on which versions of uh, language we do recommend, depending on the underlying version of the processor, um, tips and tricks on how to compile codes to get the best level of performance, those kind of things, you're going to have a look to the technical guide that we host on GitHub. Uh, the URL is at the top of the screen. And if there's anything that is missing or um, any additional questions that you might have, please open an issue or send us an email on ec2-arm-dev-feedback at amazon.com. There's a team of engineers and solutions architects that are monitoring that address, and we will do our best to answer all your questions. Thanks a lot uh, for listening to this short session. Um, and have a nice day and a nice Graviton adoption.